hey guys welcome to nasike's kitchen if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel kindly do we'll really appreciate remember to like comment share and watch my videos and uh, guys today i'm going to show you a very simple um, way of making fondant flowers or rose flowers without tools <music> So guys, here are my fondants, there's this one which is purple and this one which is white. I'm going to show you how to make flowers using your fondant without tools. It's very easy and also in another video I'll show you how to make your fondant, homemade fondant. You don't have to go and buy in the supermarket. So guys, first you pinch just a little You pinch your fondant And you make this round shapes I'll make five of them or six I think six is better. I'll make six of them. after that I'll set this one aside because when you expose the fondant uh, on air it will harden so you have to put it in a polythene bag and you store it again I'll take this one I pinch six of them a sugar bag I'll take one small piece you can see but then it's like I'm covering then I start pressing in the outer side and the inner just like that And if you feel like it's sticking, you can use your icing, you can use your powdered sugar or icing sugar. Here it is. Use a bit so that it doesn't stick. So what I'll do, I'll roll.
you do, you roll, you put it in the middle, not in the middle, like you put it like this, and then you cover. Then you fill it this. You can see a rose flower has started coming out. If it's sticking, you add your icing sugar. You continue with the same process. it's not so hard it's very simple and sometimes you can get like you have a plant who wants these flowers and you don't have the tools so what do you do you have to use your brains So you just put pressure on the sides and in the middle. Just like that. After that, you apply just a little bit of the icing sugar. Then you cover. If it's sticking, you can use your icing sugar to bind.
and then the excess like here we have an excess you remove it is a red rose flower. Hope you're seeing it. There it is. We're going to use also the purple. Just repeat the same process. Set it aside. Pick another one. Then we go to the next one. And if you want bigger flowers, those flowers, you can add like this side is the ones that you are making like this. This ones. You can add the size so that you can get a bigger rose flowers or rose flower. Just as 
So guys, here are my rose flowers. Don't they look amazing? And then after you've finished making these roses, you should ensure that you make them to dry. Give them like six hours or three hours to dry before you uh, put them or set them on your cake so that they don't crumble. Remember to hit the subscribe button, comment, share. We'll meet in the next video. Thank you for watching.